uh, even after buying Glacier. Uh, uh, gr- why, why do I have such a tongue twister with that? Glacier Creek. Glacier Creek. Say it three times really fast. Glacier Creek, Glacier Creek, Glacier Creek. There, see? If I set my tongue to it, I mean my mind to it, I can do it. Welcome back, everybody, to Gold Rush. I am an old guy, Gaming Ed. In this episode, we are going to finish up our drilling. Uh, I am almost done. Probably 80 to 85% of the way there, maybe. If you look at the amount of gold I have in the upper right-hand corner, you can see that we have over a 1,000 ounces of gold from Nuggets, which is fantastic. What that means, ladies and gentlemen, is that we will be able to buy the Glacier Creek wash plant before we even get started digging here on Nighthawk uh, in the spring. So that's fantastic. Uh, that's more than enough gold for us to be able to afford to get that. Um, and then some, right? Because we're, we're already sitting on $325,000 as it is. Plus, we'll be able to sell the the D-Rocker and, you know, we'll get probably a nice little chunk of change left over from that too. Anyway, I'm working my way back to the shop here because I'm almost out of fuel. And so we did uh, fill up our fuel tank when we brought it out here. Um, I'm wondering if it's possible for me to be able to get to it without having to pull stuff out because it is kind of tucked in there. But it does have a long hose on it too. So let's just see what we can do. I mean, if we have to pull the excavator out, we have to pull it out. It's not that big of a deal. But uh, if we can manage to get to it without having to do that, that'd be great. And uh, we might have more success if we go in this way. The, it looks like the fuel uh, cap is on the right-hand side. Uh, the other thing, too, is I did a little bit more research on how to properly drill in this game, and I learned some some stuff, and I'm going to show you what I learned uh, when we get back out onto the pay dirt uh, to keep drilling. Uh, but, all right, let's stop there. Um, but as you can see, you know, with the amount of nuggets that I have, uh, what I learned is very effective and, uh, it's really cool. All right. Um, let's just see if this will reach all the way over to here. Oh, it does. Look at that. It's a beautiful thing. Hot darn. All right. We don't have to pull stuff out of here. That is awesome. So yeah, let's, uh, in fact, you know what? Let's stop. We don't need to any more fuel in there than that because we're over well over halfway done and we only had a half a tank when we started with so that should be plenty because this is a leased vehicle anyways we're going to return it and we'll we'll lose all that fuel uh, so that should be plenty for us to finish so yeah let's get back out to the pay dirt and i'll i'll show you what the deal is i've probably spent maybe two and a half to three hours uh, in real time drilling since I left you guys in the last episode. Haven't done that all in one sitting, of course. Um, I spent another hour or so after I left you in the last episode, which for me was a, a couple of days ago in real life. And then again uh, today, probably another hour and a half or so uh, working on this. So hasn't hasn't act it's going faster than I thought it would. Especially because I've spent, I've done more than just one drill per square. At least I was for a while, but then I went back to doing one drill per square until I get the whole, you know, place drilled out. And then depending upon where we're at with our gold, we may do a, a few more holes in some of the richer spots. So here's the first thing that I learned. Uh, I learned that there, there is a cap of 1,400 ounces of nuggets that you can get off of a claim. Uh, I don't know if that is both drilling and digging combined or if it's just drilling by itself. But as you can see, I mean, we're already at 1,060. So uh, what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to see if I can hit that 1,400 ounce camp or at least, you know, get as close as possible to it with the drill. And and that'll give us a bunch of money, probably quite possibly enough money to get both the Glacier Creek and the Frankenstein. Maybe. We'll see. Um and then, uh, what was I going to say? Okay, and then once we do start digging, 
if we don't see any more nuggets at all, then we know that that 1,400 ounce cap is for the for the cold claim, whether you're drilling or digging. But if we do start to see more nuggets from digging too, then we know that those are separate caps. Um, so that's the first thing I learned. Now, here's the second thing. Let's get over to 509, and then we're going to start working our way up. We have these basically these three rows or columns left to do, and I've got you know what's probably three hot spots on the claim. We have this one here, this one here, and this one here. Now, I don't know if this is going to be one big hot spot uh, or if they're going to be separate hot spots. We'll see. But, uh, okay, wait a minute. What was that square again we need to be on? 509. Okay, so 509 is... Uh, 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 right here. Okay, so... Here's the thing. What you want to do when you're drilling in these squares is you don't want to drill right in the center. You can, but each square has 16, uh, we'll say, cores in it. And what I mean by that is here, let's actually let's do a quick save at least. Um... We looked at this very briefly in the last episode, but if I zoom in um, and we look at these circles, okay, that's what I mean by course. So, so if you fully drill out a square um, like I did here, there's 16 of these, of these cores, okay? And so if you drill in... Not all the way in the corner, not all the way in, in the center, but halfway between those two points. So what I basically do is I kind of draw an imaginary line in my mind from the corner to the center where the number is, and then try and aim for the middle of that line. And if you do that, then what you'll end up doing is you hit, you'll hit four of those cores in one drill, and you essentially increase the chance to get a nugget by four four times more than you would if you only hit one core per drill. And so as you can see, well, we have to, we have to stay in. Um, I, you know, as I got a little bit better at this and probably more importantly, as I was on a little bit leveler ground, I did a pretty good job of hitting those corners and getting those four cores in one drill. The places where I didn't hit it so much, uh, that was in part because the terrain is more steep here and, and, you know, the drill slides around. It's a lot easier to do it when you're on flatter terrain than when you're on, you know, sloped terrain. Also, I don't know this for sure, but the snows might be causing some slippage too. I don't know if it act, if that actually matters in this game or not. Um, so that could be a factor too, but I've also kind of perfected my technique uh, as I've gone along and that's why I've been a little more successful, you know, getting those nuggets. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. Uh, the other thing I learned that you can get up to, it's still, there's still some RNG involved here, some, you know, random number generator for those of you who don't know what that means. Um, so there's still some randomness involved, but uh, you can get up to potentially four nuggets in one square. Okay, and so the more of those cores that you hit, uh, with each time you drill, the greater the chance you know, you're going to get those nuggets that are going to be more frequent with less effort. So hopefully that all makes sense. And so let's go ahead and get started here. Um, now, what I found also what works fairly well is I try I look at the very top of the drill, you know where that where that electric motor is, where the drill motor is, but I look at it like straight top down, and I try and get that right in between the number and the corner of the square on the diagonal. And the reason I look at the top of the motor and not the drill is because when you start the drill, you see how it kind of sucks it in there a little bit? Um, so you don't want to go by the tip of the drill when it's uh, slanted out because, okay, look at that, we just got a nugget, 2.73, because it's, you know, because it's going to tilt in, if that makes sense. All right, cool. And you're still, you know, by doing this in the corner instead of the center, you're still hitting every square so you get the overall picture of, you know, where the gold is. So my plan is to, you know, to finish out here and, you know, hit these corners 
right? Probably about there. That might be a little too... Okay, let's back up right about... No, that's too much. I'm going to say about there is fairly close to where we want to be. It's, it's hard to get it exact um, because there isn't an exact marker. Uh, but anyway, my plan is to finish all of the squares. Then we got another one. Look at that. 8.86 ounce. Uh, finish all of the squares with just the single drill in the corner, and then we'll go back to the richer squares and dig out more of those corners in an effort to, you know, see if we can hit that 1,400 ounce mark. So that's the plan, Stan, but I'm, I'm pretty happy with how this is going because, yeah, man, um, we're already over 1,000 ounces just from these nuggets alone. This is crazy. This is absolutely insane. Uh, getting getting that much gold. I had no idea we could get that much gold from doing this. I thought, you know, maybe you could pull a couple 300 ounces out of you on a good day, but this is like, wow. <laughs> so, yeah, any anytime I play this game in the future, man, I'm going to be doing this full thorough, thorough drilling on each of the, any parcels that I buy because it is well worth doing. Well worth doing. Okay, so yeah, we you've already, just in the time I've started here, you've seen me pull, was it three nuggets out so far? Maybe two, two or three. And there's another one right there. That's a four point, okay, that's a littler one, but still, nugget's a nugget, right? Some of the nuggets can be over 20 ounces. I think on that one I was maybe a little bit too far forward. Um, the way you can tell, though, is if you go into the map, and nope, we that was actually good because because we hit uh, all four of those. We were a little too far to the right on 484 though. Okay, this looks pretty good right here actually I think. So let's drill down. See what happens. There we go. Look at that, 8.95 ounces. So yeah, as you can see, this is definitely the best way to do this. I mean. I watched a few different videos on YouTube, and most of the ones I saw, they were just covering the very basics. So, yeah, here's the drill. You just go into the square, you hit this button, and you drill. And um, and they didn't really tell you that, um, you know what, we should probably back up just a smidge. There we go. You know, these these finer details, like, you know, how much how many ounces you can get, the fact that you can get up to four per square, and most importantly, this drilling in the corner thing. Um, so very effective. I love it, man. I love it. I'm up to 10, uh, 1,085.557 ounces of gold. We are definitely getting a Glacier Creek wash plant in the spring before we even start digging here. And maybe a Frankenstein. We'll just see, you know, how the money turns out. That's, that's a pretty good spot there. It might be a little bit far to the right, but hopefully not enough to matter you don't have to be dead on you just have to be pretty close to hit those four cores so what's that that's 359 i'm just curious did we did we get it 359 is, nope yeah see i was a little bit too far to the right to get the the cores over there that's okay though all right back up just a little bit and maybe right uh, yeah, let's try that. It's still a bit of a guessing game, but again, if you if you get pretty car, you know close, you're, you're gonna hit it most times. That was three thirty four. Let's see what that one does. Yep, we hit that one good, and we're also kind of getting into the richer gold spot here too. That's where we're going to, you know, one of the spots we will be concentrating our digging on when the time comes. All right, let's back up just a hair, and that's probably good right there. But, yeah, you can see when you start getting on the, um, you know, the janky terrain, it's it's more difficult to position this because it starts flipping you around all over the place. 12.3 ounces. We'll take it. Very nice. We might see a few more in this area because we're just in a hot spot in general. I don't know this for a fact, but it seems to me like when you are in the hot spots, you have an even greater chance of getting nuggets, which would make sense. But I, I you know, but you can get nuggets in the in the crap dirt too. So it's I don't know if that's a, an exact science, but it seems that way. 
think we might be just a touch far forward on this one, but we'll see what it does. Okay, no nuggets there. 284, did we hit the four squares on that one? Yeah, we did. Okay, so we still hit it. Fantastic. If I would have been just a gnat's eyebrow further forward than that, we probably wouldn't have. All right, let's try there. That seems like pretty good, pretty good spot there. And we got another one, 3.28 ounces. Okay, cool. So well, that brings us up to 1,100, folks. Uh, 298 and change ounces are are left before we hit the cap. And again, I don't know. Like I said, I don't know if that's the drilling cap or the total cap. Hopefully, it's just the drilling cap, and we still and we have a separate cap for digging. But well, we won't know that until we actually get in and start digging. It might be a little bit far to the right on this one. Another nugget, though. 12.92 ounces. We'll take it. That was 234. Uh, yeah, see, I was a little too far to the right, but we still got a nugget out of the deal anyway, so can't complain about that. Let's move over to the left just a smidge here. And I'm thinking right about there. Yeah, that looks almost perfect. Man, I was expecting a nugget to come from that one. <laughs> all right, did we get 208? I'm hitting the ones all the way on the border too because I'm pulling nuggets out of those as well. Yeah, I hit 208 on the when we when we came down this way. Okay, so now we're going to go up to 184. Um, we'll hit at 184, then we'll go up to 160 and then turn around and start coming back cuz we only have two more columns to do here. And it does complain, you know, if you get too close to the to the hard ground, but I've had it complain and give me a nugget anyways, so I'm not quite probably in the right position on this one, but my rig is on bad terrain too, so we'll just go with that. I've had to replace the bit twice now, and I have a th I have another bit, um, purchase another bit on standby. I know you can get the, the, the more reinforced ones, but they are a lot more expensive. And since this is kind of a temporary thing anyway, I just, I'll just go get a bunch of the cheap ones and call it good, you know? All right, two more columns to go down and back. And we got a nugget, 9.32 ounces. That brings us up to 11.23 in total okay now let's start hitting the these corners kind of in a little bit of a weird patch here Okay, let's try, and yeah, we're too far to the left this time, but I'm on some bad terrain. If we were on really nice flat ground, I'd probably try and hit both of the columns on the way down, but I'm not gonna not gonna fight it too much just with the terrain here. Okay, let's try that. That looks like a pretty good one there. No nuggets though. The other thing I've been told, too, is that on these richer parcels, uh, we're, and we're on the richest one, well, the most expensive one in the game, that the gold tends to be deeper 
Whereas on old Arnold, which is considered, you know, the starting parcel, it's more distributed. You find it, you know, closer to the top. Um, and, you know, from looking at the gold map, that seems to be, you know, seems to be accurate. Uh, because when I do look at the gold map on this parcel, it does, the gold does appear to be deeper down. Um, that's, that might be okay, actually, right there. Yeah, I think that's good. There we go. 13.23 ounces. Nice. Now at 11.37. All right, guys. Well, I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, let's see. I think I'm just going to jump cut to the nuggets when we get them. And then uh, I'll bring you back when we've completely drilled out the whole whole shebang here. And then we'll see where we are uh, on the cap. Okay. So I'll see you in just a little bit. 11.94 ounces. 6.42 ounces, 13.77 ounces, 1.94 ounces, 17.02 ounces, nice, 4.61 ounces, 16.38 ounces. We're up to 1209.198 ounces. 11.83 ounces. 16.49 ounces. All right, that should drill out the entire parcel in terms of hitting each square at least once. And we are sitting at 1237.5 and change. Uh, so now we have uh, three hot spots. Uh, this one's probably the best hot spot. And wow, look at how rich that is 588 ounces, 584, 516, 374, 386, 384. Yeah, very, very rich. Uh, gold there. Oh, wow. 824 ounces in this one. Goodness gracious. Yeah, that thing is just loaded with gold. Look at all that gold there. Excellent. And then we, we have these hot spots down here. So they're in the six high 600s, which is good. Uh, but as you can see, as you know, as I click on these squares, you can see that in most cases, the gold is definitely down lower. Um, that it, there's an exception there. That one's kind of more in the middle. But uh, if you average all of these out, you can definitely see that the gold is down lower in this parcel in most cases. So that's pretty good, though, man. Okay, so now the, the next thing I want to do is I want to go to each of the richest squares and, and start drilling out all of the cores uh, to see if we can hit that, that nugget cap. Um, I, I mean, you know, I think that, I guess the original intent of the developers was, you know, hit this thing multiple times so you can really see the gold. But in my mind, if this is a dark gold colored square, I'm digging the whole thing out. <laughs> I, mean, I don't care if this one's a little bit better than this one. I'm just getting all of that. Um, but for, for nuggets though, it's, it's much more important for nuggets to try and hit as many of those cores. That's just what I'm calling them circles, whatever you want to call them, um, as you can. Right. So let's start with 186, and we're going to try and basically hit all 16 of the cores in this square. Um, it might be a little bit challenging because we kind of have a bit of a, you know, uneven terrain here, but let's just see what we can do. And we're going to keep uh, you know, just doing that and see if we can get to that 1400 ounce gold cap or at least get as close as possible. Uh, one thing I can tell you for sure, you guys probably didn't notice this in the jump cuts, but you know, I only hit 
maybe three or four nuggets on that end. But as soon as I started getting back up here where the rich spots are, the nuggets started coming in a lot faster again. So that does definitely seem to be a thing. All right, so we've hit this corner, so we need to do this corner, this corner, and this corner. Okay, right about here should be good. And let's see if we can hit that 1,400 ounce mark. Okay, so 186 should be completely cored, we'll say. Uh, but yeah, I didn't pull any more nuggets out of that one, but that is definitely a rich one. So let's move down to 211 now, and we'll hit the upper left, upper right, and lower right corners. There we go. 9.1 ounce nugget right there. All right, did we get all of 211? Yes, we did. Okay, now we'll move down to 236. There we go, 15.97 ounces. Very nice. See, I could have said, eh, let's not get that corner. We got half of it, but nope. It's good to be thorough, isn't it? All right, 9.49. So 236 should be completely drilled out now. Yes, it is. All right, let's move over to 187, 212, and 237 next, because those are the richest ones. Two point six three ounces. Nine point seven five ounces. And this one should be fully drilled out now. Yep, two thirty seven. All right, we're gonna pop up to two twelve next. Three point six seven ounces. Five point seven seven ounces. Three ounces. Fifteen point two four. That gets us up to 1,312 ounces, guys. We have less than 100 to go to hit the cap. Thirteen 16.97. Sixteen point five zero. I've pulled three nuggets out of this one square. Amazing. We're now up to thirteen fifty nine, guys. Thirteen fifty nine point three. We're getting close. Seven point seven nine ounces. Eight point nine two ounces. 16.20 ounces, 1392.2, guys. We have less than eight ounces to go to hit cap. Woo-wee. We probably will be able to get a Frankenstein and a Glacier Creek. I'll bet you we will. Okay, let's see. So we want to hit 235. Looks like we didn't get that full corner. So, yeah, let's get 235 next. 
Ah, daggone it. We almost got away without breaking one more drill bit. The good news, though, is that I have a spare drill bit left. Because I figured this might happen. Uh, all right, so we need the uh, socket driver thingy, impact driver. Ooh, that other one might be a little tricky to get to. It's in the back there. There we go. <laughs> Okay, let's go get the final drill bit. Man, we are so close, too. That is an amazing amount of gold. Way more than I thought we would ever get drilling. You know, if you guys have been watching, or I guess I should say if you haven't been watching me all along, I'm, early on I drilled old Arnold, and I was getting nuggets, and I thought I thought that was a little bit, OP, so I turned it off, but I regretted doing that later because I, I discovered just how much of a grind this game is, and so unless you're after a seriously hardcore experience, um, you know, don't ever turn the nuggets off. Keep them on because, you know, they seem, they seem a little OP in the beginning, but things even out later on, so it's definitely worthwhile doing. And, you know, being able to do these nuggets or get these nuggets uh, and drill out the parcel, we kind of kill two birds with one stone, is allowing us to go full tier five before we even start digging uh, in the spring. So that is just amazing. Very excited about that. So yeah, let's get this drill bit on and see if we can get those final eight-ish ounces. And I guess after that, we you just don't get any more? I'm not sure. We'll, we'll get to... 1400 and then we'll try a couple more just to see if it stops or if I was misinformed or what but uh, right there okay and we got a nugget 9.51 ounces. Look at that. Hot darn. All right, that puts 1,401.743 ounces of gold. <clears throat> and uh, according to what I understand, we have reached the cap. But we're going to try a couple more drills just for the heck of it, just to see. Because, you know, maybe there was an update since then and the cap's been updated. I don't know. Let's just try it. Just so that way we can say we did. Not expecting to get more, but you never know. Hey, quit going crazy here. All right, let me check this square. Okay, so this whole side's done, so we need to hit that corner and that corner. Dude, we just got another 13.84 ounce nugget. So the 1,400 ounce cap is not the case. Maybe it was at the time that video was made that I watched, but... Okay, so you know what this means? What does this mean? <laughs> it means that I'm probably going to fully drill out all of the rich squares at least. So we are apparently not done here. It's a good thing we checked it and just didn't assume, you know, that that was the deal. Okay, get in the right position and don't go downhill. Maybe a little more. There we go. Okay, that should be good. Yeah, so, okay, so that's the plan then. I'm going to just, I'm going to dig out all of the richest squares. I mean, fully dig them out, or I should say drill them out. Um, Because, obviously we can go beyond 1400 ounces. Um, and then I don't know if, if I don't know if I'll do the less rich ones, but when I say the richest ones, I mean the dark gold ones. So we're going to fully drill. I think I've already fully drilled out all these. Yeah. Uh, wait, no, 185 is not a dark, dark. Okay. So we fully drilled those out. Uh, we will fully drill out these and we'll fully drill out these four here. 
and then we'll see what happens. Uh, I mean, if I just keep getting nuggets left and right, I might even go into the next shade of gold. Um, we'll see. Uh, or, you know, maybe I will eventually hit a cap. So let's see. Uh, how do I want to handle this as far as the video? I think... I think what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to officially end the video here for those of you who are bored out of your mind watching me drill. <laughs> um, so, uh, and then what's going to happen is in the next episode is we are going to return the drill and we're going to go to the hotel and and basically sleep for the, well, not sleep, but uh, retire for the winter and finish season one. And then when the springtime rolls around, we'll get started with season two and we'll probably I'm sure we'll be able to do that all in the same episode. So that's the plan for the next episode. Uh, we're going we're gonna to get our Tier 5 um, a wash plant, so the Glacier Creek, and I bet you we'll have enough money to get a Frankenstein, too. You know what, though? Do we even need a Frankenstein to start with? Yeah, I think we, we should get one if we can, yeah, because we don't even start getting into the good gold till here, and the wash plant's back here. So I if, if we can get a Frankenstein, we will get a Frankenstein. Uh, I mean, we could even... I'll tell you what, if we can't buy a Frankenstein, we'll probably at least lease one. Uh, because we're still going to have one heck of a chunk of chains left over, uh, even after buying Glacier uh, uh, Creek. Why, why do I have such a tongue twister with that? Glacier Creek. Glacier Creek. Say it three times really fast. Glacier Creek, Glacier Creek, Glacier Creek. There, see? If I set my tongue to it, I mean my mind to it, I can do it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so yeah, if you guys are done uh, watching me drill and you want to go get on with your day and do other things, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Uh, for the rest of you hardcore people that want to watch me drill this out a little more, um, I'm going to just time lapse the rest of this, maybe put a little bit of music on for you, and I will also then uh, see you guys in the next episode too. All right, bye guys.